less of a road map, more of a magical mystery tour. Boris Johnson will set out a cautious plan to ease England's COVID restrictions tomorrow, as ministers suggested there would be weeks between each step. There has been some encouraging early data showing reduced transmission in people who've had the vaccine. The latest 24-hour government figures show a further 215 people are reported sadly to have died with COVID, bringing the UK total to more than 120,000. There have been another 9,800 new cases in the UK, but another 300,000 people received their first dose of the COVID vaccine yesterday. 17 and a half million people have now received their first jab. That's a third of all adults in the UK. Jane Deeth reports. Two doses of good news today. The first, that all adults will get an initial jab sooner than we thought. And second, early data shows getting vaccinated also reduces the spread of COVID. The new vaccination timeline means everyone over 50 or with underlying health conditions will be offered their first jab by the 15th of April. And the plan is to invite all adults for their first dose by the end of July. Previously, it was the end of August. 17 and a half million people have already had one injection. In the next month or two, we will be continuing that pace in getting through those first jabs for the next priority groups. But at the same time, we'll be calling people back for their second jabs. The second jab is important because it will boost the immunity that you got with the first jab. And there's early evidence the first jab could reduce transmission of the virus by two thirds, the government said today. It's looking closely at Israel, where one study, still to be peer-reviewed, has shown the Pfizer vaccine cuts infection by over 80%. Approaching half of Israelis have had one dose. Things began to return to normal today. Shops and theatres reopened and gyms for those fully vaccinated. In order to enter the gym, the person needs to have a vaccination certificate or certificate of recovery. He needs to take a photo of it or scan it. This is sent to the gym for confirmation in order to match the face and validate the identification card. Boris Johnson will reveal England's long road back to normal tomorrow. Asked whether there's more hope of going on holiday now the vaccine rollout has accelerated, the health secretary was vague. There's no doubt that by being able to bring forward the goal of when we can vaccinate people, that will also help us to come out of lockdown safer and more swiftly. It's only because of the vaccine programme that we're going to be able to get back to normal. There are still hurdles. Matt Hancock said today we can't yet be confident the vaccines are as effective against the Brazil and South African variants of the virus. A South African case has appeared in Brentwood in Essex. People living in the town's CM13 postcode are asked to get tested. Tomorrow we'll hear how the Prime Minister hopes to forge a path out of lockdown. Expect a long and winding road.